students, parents and staff with Bellbrook Sugar Creek School District are speaking out after a new board proposed policy change. That change would take away protection for students based on their sexual orientation. A Board of Education meeting is being held right now at Bellbrook High School. Two News reporter Kajaja Hawkins is there, joins us live right now. Kajaja, you've talked with parents and heard from the board. What are they saying? Yeah, Brooke, John, the air was thick tonight as staff, students, and parents discussed why they feel that this policy to protect LGBTQ rights for students should not be changed. The policy revision being proposed for winter 2023 by District's Board of Education. The policy change being a direct removal of the line of their harassment policy originally adopted in 2006 that says, in quote, the board will vigorously enforce its probation against discriminatory based on race, color, national origin, sex, within the inclusion of sexual orientation and gender identity, disability, age, religion, ancestry, or genetic information. With the new revision, protection for discrimination based off of sexual orientation and gender identity will be removed. Students and parents came to the meeting tonight to show their support for LGBTQ plus students and spoke to the board about their concerns of the new policy. I spoke with a parent ahead of tonight's meeting that says the board changing this policy opens up already vulnerable students for more scrutiny. Um, and what this could potentially do is open up that very vulnerable, already very vulnerable group of students to more bullying and more harassment, which they already get right now. And that is just our concern. The parents' concerns is just going to open this up even more for more bullying. And it's also going to give, take away the school's ability to handle any kind of bullying incidents that the school has is basically the school board is showing them that they're not going to, they don't care and they're not going to protect these kids. The meeting is still taking place as of right now. And if everyone isn't heard, the board has plans to have another, another meeting at a later date. Reporting live in Bellbrook, Kadeja Hawkins, 2 News.